Save or splurge, where I tell you what product is worth the splurge or if you should save your money. Yes, this is so worth it. I think you could save your money on this one. Love, love, love this. Absolutely get it. Heck yes, this is a great one. Eh, not sure if this one's worth the cash. Uh, yes, I'll pretty much always repurchase this product. Products I will not be repurchasing, and why? I really wanted to like these. I did. I know they work for a lot of people, but both the toner and the dew drops really break me out and actually burn my face. I just think that the fragrance is way too strong for my skin type, but they smell so good and they're really cute and I'm just sad that I can't use them, but not repurchasing. Probably gonna get some hate for this, but these smell good, trust me, I love the smell of them. But I do not think that they're hydrating whatsoever or long lasting. I love the Trader Joe's version of this, like the dupe. And also Tree Hut has one that smells exactly like the original one. I forget the name, but I'll put it in the comments if I remember. But these just are not worth it for me. The Laneige Lip Mask, not a bad product, but honestly, Aquaphor is 10 times more hydrating. And I just think that this is like kind of hype. Not that it's a bad product, but I'm not going to be repurchasing. Go to part two. I went to Sephora, let me show you what I got. Moroccan oil, dry shampoo. I haven't used this in a while, but I used to love it. I swear by the Moroccan oil hairspray. It smells so amazing, it works great. And I also use the Moroccan oil light hair oil every single day. It's been a while since I used their dry shampoo, so I'm excited to use this again. This is a restock for me, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. Is that a tongue twister? The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. Setting spray. Why can I say that? Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Flawless. Setting spray. Anyway, restock. I'm so excited to try this. It's the Refi face primer. I love that you just, you know, use it right out of the bottle. You kind of like sculpt your face. I'm excited to try it tomorrow. Surprise I haven't tried this yet. The Giorgio Ormani Luminous Silk Foundation. We all know it. Everyone raves about it. So I'm going to give it a try. I wanted to try a new concealer and a lot of you said Hourglass, so I went with the Hourglass Vanish in color cotton. It's the Say Glowy Super Gel. Um, I got it in Sun Glow, but they only had the small size, so I figured I'll get the small size, give it a try, and then maybe get my hands on a bigger one. I saw someone using the Say Blush in Spicy, and it was just the most gorgeous color, especially for fall, so I'm so excited to try this. And then this is one I got last week and I didn't share it with you guys, but I love it and I want to get more colors. It's the Makeup by Mario um, lip liner. And I love that it's a pencil and a brush because sometimes I'm just messy. I have lip gloss on right now, so this isn't really going to be the best way to show you. But you can just clean it up and kind of blend it in. And I love it. I just feel like it's so pretty. Another color that I think is great for fall. Did I say it was color Chris? I love the color and my favorite part is the brush. But all right, that's everything I got. Day two of going to all the Sephora's in my city to find the new Drunk Elephant Goldie Drops. They launched yesterday, so we need to find them today before they sell out. But I forgot to use my Kosa spray. If you guys tagged along with me yesterday, you know that they didn't have them yet at the store across the street from me, and they said they might not get them for another days. I have to hurry because I need to be the first one in line at the Sephora the second they open. It's currently 9.35, and they open at 10 o'clock, but I need to walk there, and it's like a 20-minute walk, so I literally need to finish this look in like two more minutes. Okay, I'm going as fast as I can, but I cannot forget this highlight because this is like literally the favorite part of my makeup routine. Like, are you kidding me? This just makes the world of a difference. It's worth the $42. Guys, someone tell me why I didn't try this mascara sooner. Are you freaking kidding me? I should have listened to you guys. Okay, I need a little setting spray. We were supposed to be out the door literally like three minutes ago, so now I have to run there. I just literally ate so much setting spray. That was so gross. Okay, a little lip balm. No, a little bit more. Okay, let's go to Sephora. I'll meet you guys there. Let's go. So whenever I feel the slightest bit unattractive, I chalk it up to it being that I don't have good enough products. So with that being said, I did some damage online and in store. So I thought, why not at least show them what I got? I'm really genuinely concerned because this is way too small of a box for the amount of things I know I ordered. 
And just to show you how easily influenced I am, I'm going to tell you the reason I got all these products. This is also a reminder that because Alex Earl uses it, is good enough reason. Starting off with skincare, I got the Peter Roth Thomas Potent C Hydra Gel Patches. I don't remember who I saw wearing these, but they looked like they had bright under eyes. And then I got both the Glow Recipe Minis, the Niacinamide Drops and the Toner, because that makeup by Michaela Girl, she uses them. And although she might be canceled, she has really glowy skin, so. And then I also got the Polish Choice Exfoliating Liquid because I had the mask and this seemed easier and I'm lazy anyways, so thought I'd try it. And then these aren't really skincare, but I got the Laneige, um, this isn't the lip mask, oh, Lip Glowy Balm. Um, it just seemed much more convenient than the lip mask when my friends had it. And then I refilled my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And I actually really like this stuff, but I still got the mini because it feels like I'm spending less money, so. And because I saw Alex Earl use it one time. Okay, now for makeup, I got the Benetint Cookie or Tickle Highlighter. I'm not sure which one. It's Cookie because Alex Earl used it. And because I've lost mine like three months ago and I've been using an eyeshadow as highlight, so I figured it was time. And then I got the Patrick Ta Major Glow Balm in the shade She's on Vacation because Alex Earl got it or used it once. But I actually want to try this for prom, so I'm pretty excited about this. But I didn't get the brush, so... Don't worry, I have another Sephora order coming in that has to brush in it, along with a bunch of other stuff I probably didn't need. So last from the online order is the Givenchy Prisma Libre setting powder. Not because Alex Earl used it, but actually because they sold out of the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom, and this is the one that Xandra uses, I think. So, I bought it. Now for the in-store order. This really all could fit in one, and you'll see why. Except this, I got the Color Wow trial size i don't even know why i've literally never seen somebody who saw i bought the entire brazilian bump online, line and i'm running out of time so i have to go fast i got the lotion i got the scrub i got the mist i got a smaller mist i got the body wash the hand cream and the body oil bye you could never go to sephora and just get one thing so let's do a little haul of things that i did not need to buy but i did anyway the one item i did need was the kosas cloud set baking powder and smoothing powder i love this one if you guys have not tried this setting powder it really gives you a filter in real life i got the shade of feathery i love this one so much because it really helps to smooth out any pores any texture on the skin oh i have purchased this at least three times now okay next up is this lys beauty cream bronzer stick and if you see my last videos i've already used this multiple times and honestly out of all the bronzers i have used i will 110 percent recommend this to literally everybody i got the shade no limits harmony i think there was only four to choose from but i am obsessed my camera keeps falling so sorry for the weird bitch sorry for the weird angle she can't speak today okay next up was some mascara these are from anastasia beverly hills i had this one actually i just wanted to bring it into the haul i've had this one for a good while and i never used it and when i started to use it i am obsessed with it typically i don't like wands that are pretty thick like this but trust me i feel very confident enough to wear no lashes and wear this by itself and i've actually gotten complimented on it before so when you get complimented you know you're doing something right but if you keep up with Anastasia, they do have a new mascara. Look at the wand. I tried it and I really love it. It does really help to lift the lashes as well. My friend gifted me this. This is the A Give Feeling Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo. This is the Gwen Stefani brand. I'm obsessed with the packaging in the shade 30 Talk. I have not swatched it yet. I normally go for pink tones, but I'm ready to switch it up. Nothing from this brand, so I'm super excited to try this out. Okay, one of my last purchases. Now, I did not get this one from Sephora, but you can purchase it from Sephora. I just wanted to include it in this haul. My manager slash friend got me this one from the Cosmoprof because it was a big size, and you know how like they get a little bit of a discount. But anyways, I love this dry shampoo. I've tried so many. I definitely feel like this one and the dry bar one are like my top 
favorites right now and I like to go back and forth with them. Last thing I got with my points was the Polish Choice Exfoliator. Now I already own this. I already know I love it so much. If you're dealing with texture on your skin, pores on your skin, it is perfect for you. I got a little mini one because I was like, ah, I need to save my coins. <laughs> that is it for my little haul from Sephora. Comment down below if you guys have tried any of the products that I've got. Let me know what else I need. See you guys next time. Bye. Huge back to school Sephora haul. I've been working and saving up all summer so I can do this. And I take back to school very serious. I have makeup and skincare, so let's start with skincare. I'm so excited. This is probably my favorite part of the year. I love back to school preparing, especially at Sephora. So the first thing I got is from Glow Recipe. It's the BHAHA Strawberry Serum, which I've seen all over. And I actually was on the hunt for the popular products, and you guys will see what I ended up getting. This is how it looks like. I'm so excited to use it. I've heard so many good things about it. Honestly, it's been all over my For You page. It smells like strawberries. And also the packaging kind of looks like a strawberry. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, but first, I got this hyaluronic acid because I was running out and it's an essential to my skincare. So I need to have this while I'm going to be getting ready for school because it just makes your skin so glowy. Okay, now this I've heard so many things about and I am so excited for this. This is the Jisoo hair oil and I've seen it everywhere. It was kind of hard to get so I was lucky they had it in stock and everyone has been saying that it smells so good. So I smelled it in the store. I think it smelled good, but let's see because I'm really curious. It does. It's like a hair perfume, but an oil. I got the medium size or a small size because the other one was really expensive and I kind of had a budget. Even though I was saving up this summer, I can't spend everything. And I got something from Sol de Janeiro, which is this body wash. This is the Boom Dia Bright one. It smells amazing. I love Sol de Janeiro. Moving on to our second bag. Starting with Glow Recipe again. I got this Glow Recipe moisturizer. It's this watermelon moisturizer. And I've been obsessed with Glow Recipe. It's an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. This is the moisturizer and it's so pretty. I love the packaging and it moisturizes really well. Oh, then I just had to get this Charlotte Tilbury Famous Cream. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it everywhere as well. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Moisturizer. It smells pretty cool. Some new things for my Get Ready With Me. Since I'm gonna be getting ready for school a lot on here, this is gonna come in handy. I'm moisturized. Okay, another thing from Sol de Janeiro that was so hard to get. This was the last one they had in stock and I was looking and I couldn't believe when I found it. This is the leave-in hair conditioner. I don't know, it just got so popular and viral, but I can't wait to use it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to apply it to wet hair, but here we go. Oh, you can just tell it's Sol de Janeiro. And then I got this Paula's Choice Exfoliator because I heard it's really good for like clearing your skin and keeping it clear. It shrinks pores, evens the skin tone, and it's lightweight. Okay, and I also got another thing from The Ordinary, which is the salicylic acid. Basically just for acne control. I've been using it, so this is just a restock. And of course, I had to get the Touchland hand. Um, it's just a must to have at school. Doing the makeup in the next part. I'm walking into Sephora right now, smelling like sweat and champagne after a workout. But I ran out of the few things that I can't live without, so a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. All right, I'm home and I'm showered and I'm gonna show you the things that I just got. New favorite brow gel from Merit. And the trick with this is to go three shades darker than your eyebrows. Look at that, that's like super dark. I mean, if you like a bold brow. See, this is black brown. If you like a three-in-one tint moisturizer with SPF, I use this Say. And if you like a little illumination, a little balmy glow, I mix it with this Ilia. Oh, my sister and my friend were wearing this on their skin. I'm like, wait, what did you, what is that on your face? And they're like, Ilia, Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. And I'm like, I need that. So I put a few drops of this in my moisturizer, in my foundation. It is just the most multifunctional, beautiful highlighting. I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Cream for years now. If you have a better one, let me know. I'm always open because people say like, eye cream's bullshit, like it doesn't really do anything. Uh, so I don't know if that's the case, but I love the consistency of this. And even like 30 minutes after I put it on, it still feels like moisturized around the balls. 
I don't know, it's so stupid to say, but it just came to my mind. Another thing from Merit, I use a lot of Merit. This is their bronzer. Again, I suggest getting this in two shades darker. See, look at how much darker this is than my skin. I've noticed if you pick a shade that's your skin tone or just a shade darker, it's not gonna really show up. And if you're a bronzer glow girl, then you're gonna want something darker. So that's my little tip. Oh, and you gotta get this brush too. Hey guys, here is a $200 Sephora haul. I got one of those uh, family and friend coupons for like the 20% off. And I went a little crazy just because I thought 20% was like such a good sale. Even though like in reality, that's like I saved like $45. So was it a really good sale? Mm, I don't know. Honestly, a lot of the stuff I was just like restocking of because this was the month that all of my products ran out. So the first thing I got was the full size of the recipe glow toner. The birthday gift Loki just sold me. I used the whole thing and I felt like my skin could never look better. And are you kidding? This freaking packaging, like, how was I not? Like, that's so cute. Next was a restock of the Sol de Janeiro perfume in the 62. Never gotten so many compliments of how good I smell when I was wearing this, so it's just now engraved in my get ready. Got the value size of the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, because I also used my whole mini bottle of this, so got a big one. Also got a restock on my concealer. I used the Rare Beauty one. And as you can tell, this one here is crusty, so she needs to be thrown out. Next, I got the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Bold. Just because I feel like a lot of my lip glosses are this color, so hopefully it'll match. Got the mini Charlotte Tilbury powder. Honestly, I just saw a lot of people using this, and I just got influenced. And 20% off for the mini didn't seem so bad anymore. <laughs> Last two things I got were this Summer Fridays lip balm. I have the pink one, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I use it 24-7. And then I got this lip liner pencil sharpener, because I've never had a pencil sharpener, and all my lip liners are literally used right down to, like, the bud where I can't use them anymore. So I was like, maybe I should get a sharpener so I can use these. And Sephora gave me three samples today. I have no idea what that is. Milk Hydro Grip Primer and no idea okay that's all for the haul can't wait to use all of this see ya just spent 330 dollars at sephora so we need to do a haul i just got my hair done too and i'm obsessed as always guys my bag is like so heavy first thing i got was the summer fridays lip balm i have it in vanilla beige and i'm obsessed with it so i went ahead and got the pink I was also running on setting spray, so I got the Sephora brand setting spray. It was $14. Honestly, I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on setting spray because they're all going to do the same thing. This next one I'm super excited for because my lips have been crusty lately. So I got the Tatcha lip mask. It looks so fancy. Honestly, I don't even know how much this was, but I'm sure it was expensive. But I really need it because my lips have been so dry. The next thing I got was the Pharmacy Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. It's so cute. I want to show you guys the little packaging that it's in. But my eyelids have been, not my eyelids, what the heck, my under eyes have been so dry lately. Like literally my makeup today is kind of uh, clumping together. It's, it's so bad. But look at the little container it's in. So cute. I also reached this Reachously own. I also recently purchased the One Size Beauty loose setting powder, and honestly, I am not a fan. I feel like it kind of clumps together when you dump your sponge in it to pick up the product, and I just, it, I don't like it. So I got the Laura Mercier translucent loose powder, the Holy Grail. It just never lets me down. The next thing I got the dermatologist, or no, the. I can't talk today, guys. The next thing I got, the esthetician at Sephora recommended to me because my face has been really dry lately. She recommended the Sephora Brightening Dual Exfoliator. She said to do it a few times a week and hopefully that will help my moisturizing products penetrate my pores. I'm also a sucker for blush, so I bought the Makeup by Mario blush in the shade Poppy, Poppy Pink. 
look at how beautiful it is i also got a wooden scalp massager because i get really frequent headaches and i don't know if this is even what it's supposed to be used for but i'm going to make my husband massage my head with this and see if it helps i literally was talking and not recording i have mom brain today the next thing i got was the elf this is not even Elf, this is Ardell. I got the Duo Lash Glue by Ardell because I was running low. This is another holy grail. Um, it's amazing, my lashes never come off with it, but it does tend to clump together. If you even leave the cap a little bit open, then the remaining glue can clump together, but I honestly think it's worth it because this is very inexpensive. This next one I am super excited for. Like I said, my skin has been very dry lately, so I got the Tatcha Water Cream. It's the less moisturizing version, but still really moisturizing is what the esthetician said, and it helps to prevent your skin from getting too oily because I think sometimes I over moisturize, and then later on in the day I get a little bit oily. And finally, I got the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. Honestly, I didn't need foundation, but it was cheap. It was like $20. So I had them color match me, and I'm going to try it out and see if it's worth it because it's cheap. So maybe I can go for this versus like the $50, $60 foundations that I usually get. And that's it for my haul. Bye. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush huge Sephora haul. These bags are literally about to rip. I've been saving up for so long to do one huge haul. I was on the hunt for the viral drunk elephant bronzing drops and I'm going to show you guys if I actually ended up getting them. First, I got this night serum, the drunk elephant night serum because I don't have a night sort of skincare routine. I've been saving up for so long and look, so pretty. I love this part. So you mix it in with the moisturizer and this is going to be your night's movie. I'm just going to be rushing through everything because I literally have so many things. This is the Drunk Elephant Oil. It's actually my first time getting it, so I'm not sure how this would work, but I heard really good things about it. You can also make a lot of smoothies with it, so that's really cool. Then, of course, I just had to get this big glow recipe toner because I've been using the small one forever, and I'm always running out of it, but I need a big one this time. Here it is so huge honestly it was pretty expensive it was like 30 something dollars but i think it's worth it because it's gonna last me a pretty long time god it smells amazing i'm gonna be using this for my get ready please in the future okay next i got this makeup by mario contour stick because my contour has been looking orange it's been looking yellow and i couldn't find my perfect shade and this is one of the best contour sticks and i love that it also has a brush which is so convenient this is how it looks like and also this is in the shade medium another thing from makeup by mario is this palette and i just i needed a palette because i like using eyeshadow like the neutral colors actually this was the last palette they had in stock and i was so lucky i got it because it's always sold out this is in the shade master mattes and as you can see these are all the essential matte colors, which is a must-have. I got so lucky because I found the Rare Beauty Lip Oil again. It's always sold out. They never have it in stock. And this was also the last one there. This is in the shade Delight. It's actually Delight. It's, it's just amazing. Let's see. Like, mm, I love how it feels. Now this, I've been seeing everywhere. Everyone has been talking about it. Everyone has this. I got these two. These are the Summer Fridays lip balms i am not always in the mood for lip glosses or lipsticks and lip balms colored lip balms are the best thing i can't open it i'm just gonna break the aesthetic of the packaging this is in the shade vanilla beige and this is sort of a lighter shade which is more of an everyday kind of situation and this is in the shade brown sugar and it's a darker shade for more dramatic occasions or when you feel you're in a darker mood i am so happy about this purchase this was an expensive purchase but i think it is so worth it it's the patrick ta blush um which also they had like two left in stock this is such a lucky haul look at it it's so pink in the shade she's a doll you wouldn't think this would look good on your cheeks but it actually does it has like a powdered and a cream blush so that's perfect this is all my life savings like i'm, I'm not even joking next up is this milk refresh and setting spray because i don't actually have a setting spray right now let's see okay I look shiny. 
I really gotta hurry up. I have like one minute left. This is the Dior Backstage um, palette. It's like a low face, um, sort of a highlighter palette. And I finally got my hands on this. This is my first time getting it. It's really, really pretty. And it's also really expensive, so. Just look at these colors. It's perfect for every occasion. It's just so shiny. Charlotte Tilbury highlighter in the shade Spotlight. I think Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite highlighters. This sponge makes it so much easier. It's just an essential. Another thing from Charlotte Tilbury is the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. This is in the shade Foxy Brown. And another blush, which is the Milk Blush. And I love their blushes. They have so many shades and it's really confusing. Convenient. So small, you can carry it anywhere. This is a really pretty shade, and it's in the shade Enigma. Didn't find the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops, but I'll be looking for them, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to show you guys everything that I spent with $320. Like, I don't think I've ever spent that much in Sephora. I'm being so serious. Like, the most I've ever really spent, I think, was like $200. I'm so excited though because like I really needed all this stuff. And this is like a really big bag. Like, hello. Okay, so first I got this Glow Recipe Barbie Edition. Look how pretty the box is. It has like cute little like Barbie dolls around it. This is the pink moisturizer and then the dewy drops. I'm excited to try this. Cute. It says Barbie and everything. That's so cute. Look at it. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't wait to try these. I already have this to be honest. Like this one right here. I have this one. But I need it more, you know? Okay, the second thing that I got, this was $27, and it's basically the water cream by Tatcha and then the cleanser. This is really freaking good, I heard. I asked the lady that worked there. Her name's Amanda, and she also used to freaking work with me at this restaurant, which is so crazy. She freaking helped me out with everything. Right, so this is how it looks like. This is a cute little cleanser. This is really good for your face. I asked her if it's going to break me out, and she's all like, no, it's not. So she just said not to overuse it. And then this little cute mini water thing okay i definitely thought that this was going to be bigger it's so little i mean it's still good size oh that's a lot never mind <laughs> so yeah i can't wait to try this there's a bag and this bag <laughs> the 60 dollar uh i don't know how to pronounce that it's keels or whatever rejuvenating hello facial essence so i really want to try this it's really good for your face it's like a toner i guess um and something about me is like i love facial stuff look at this bottle you guys it was 60 dollars like I want to try it, so I'm excited. And you have to shake it before you use it, too. The next thing I got, she gave me free samples just because she knows the meat. I'm just kidding. No, but this is shampoo and conditioner. I'm probably going to give this to my mom just because she likes to, like, you know, try things out. And her hair is so beautiful. Like, hello. I got this Lotus Nero spray just because I'm, like, already running out. Okay. I already know how this smells like, but it's so freaking pretty. I love this smell. If you guys need a really good clean girl smell, this is your way to go. The new re freaking primer thing, you guys. Oh my god. I don't even know if that's how you said the word. I don't care. First of all, thank you. Um, I'm excited to use this thing. You just roll it on your face. That's so cool. So yeah, I saw a lot of people. Hello. I saw a lot of people use this, so I would like to try it. She gave me this sample. What is this? Oh, cleansing oil. So she just dropped this in my bag and... I'm excited to try this. It's a remover, basically. It's really cool, so I'm going to need this to remove my makeup. And it's by Tatcha. I got the Baby Pink Dior Blush just because I've been wanting to try this, but I just never really like got my hands on it because it's always sold out everywhere, which I'm curious on why they had it there. How cute. Let's open it up. Ready? I don't want to mess it up. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. Uh, I'm excited to try this out because I'm a blush girl. I got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream just because I already have one here, but it's kind of running away. Look, this is more little than this one, but look, I'm literally about to run out. So I'm like, whatever, might as well restock. And I love it. It's like the best thing ever. Got the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I do need to put this on at night before I go to sleep. I don't want my lips to be dry and I do want them to be soft moisturized. And it comes with like a little cute applicator, which is so cute. And then this is how it looks like. Mm, I don't really smell anything weird. I'm just kidding. I'm excited to try this. One size by Patrick Star translucent powder. I wanted the pink one so freaking bad, but they didn't have it. So I asked her if this was like cool for me to get. Is it still the same thing or whatever? She said it was still good, which is so cool. I can't wait, wait to try it. She said it's better than the Laura Mercier, the one size powder. So let's see if that's true. Because she said I used to use Laura Mercier. So I was like, hmm, okay. I use Laura Mercier, but let's switch it up a little bit. She also gave me examples. So she gave me the one size setting powder in pink. 
like to try out you know you can also get like things that you could try out right so make sure you ask them like oh can i try this out they'll give you samples look this is the one size in pink she gave me three foundations to try so she gave me the dior backstage foundation dior forever slow foundation and then the nars natural radiance just because i didn't know what foundation to usually get like i told her i wanted to try something new so she gave me all these cute little samples and like in the bag they're like all marked on which one it is and like they have the look which is so freaking cool because i didn't know that sephora gave out samples like hello thank you she gave me all of these cute little things to try this is the kiehl's facial screen facial cream sorry this radiance serum and then this is another facial cream like something about me girls i love facial stuff i decided to try everything out of here and just believe that i'm going to make a video using everything whenever i do my makeup so yeah this is all i got for 320 fucking dollars